Assalamu alaikum and I want to welcome you all to this uh, beginning program and actually on the request I'm redoing it uh, but this time around I'm putting it on the steroids I mean actually I'm trying to get it some bigger because YouTube make a fuss but uh, anyways this program is very important because it's the beginning program and if you want to learn assembly language then you got to actually get hold of the things uh, which I'm gonna uh, teach here so first thing is the title title means what this program is about so maybe this program is the something like uh, introduction introductory program or this program may be some ad program so you will say this program is ad program uh, which you write in here this is self-explanatory then we have some segments before dealing with that I'm gonna paint here so to show you something about the RAM this is actually about the uh, how 8086 uh, uh, processor uh, uh, looks into the RAM. It actually breaks your RAM. For example, this is the RAM. Okay. Now this is my RAM. Okay. And um, 8086 actually breaks this RAM into, the, into some uh, segments, into the actually some memory areas. Uh, four of them, actually. So one is called as data segment one is called as core segment then stack segment and then extra segment okay so what we basically uh, 8086 segmentizes the ram it breaks your ram into the segments this is some memory area with some boundaries okay we are having four but we could have many I mean to say if I have a one data segment I could have two four three data segments any many data segments and that too that depends on the memory model which you uh, learn probably on the uh, on the video uh, video on the memory model but um, if I having many data segments or many code segments but at a time only one data or one code segment will be active and um, if we have a com program for example so this whole RAM will be occupied by a single segment and these all segments will be put in this one segment but if you have some EXE program because uh, in the next video actually on the memory model I told, uh, 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 I'm telling you that uh, uh, we have assembly programs like COMS or EXEs EXEs will have these segments so this time around I'm building some EXE program here so you could say here intro introduction in the bracket you could say .exe because uh, this is my exe program and whatever then look in here in the ignorance registers when I uh, show you the register uh, program there we see some registers which are which we call code segment register or stack signal register etc etc what does these stack re uh, registers do for example I'm saying here two uh, signal, segment registers one the data segment register and this is a code segment register. Similarly, you could have extra segment and stack segment actually registers. Now, what data segment register do is it keeps track of the address of the data segment because if we put in something in the data segment, I should be having the address. For example, if you want to post your letter to some friend, you should know the address of your friend. So simple as it is. So that address is to be put in here. If this is the code segment, for example, its address got to be put in here. Similarly, other segment addresses have to be put in. We have to reserve the pointers actually to these addresses, which could uh, later on point me to these addresses. And if I want to do something to the uh, to these addresses and put in something here and get in something from here, so I could do it because I know the address. If you know the address of your friend, you can go to your friend's house. But if you don't know, then don't worry, come to my house. Anyways. Now, what you got to do is uh, you have to say that I have a segment. And what is the data segment? If you have some data, for example, uh, you have some like in if you have if you if you have done C programming language, then we have integers, what you call data types. We could have floating point variables, whatever the data types you have that you can put in here in the data segment, and the code what you write exact uh, actually. Uh, for example, this is the addition program. For example, you are writing the code for adding. That code program, the code of the program, the name itself suggests something. 
that will be put in here. So this is the code and the stack segment, which I will tell you in the later videos when we do something about functions, actually procedures here in this uh, assembly language, those about those procedures, those will be dealt in here. And extra segment is used for many things, which we will see definitely later on. So I'm going to do my program here. This is a title, introduction, uh, .exe. I told you to say executable file. We're going to do it because, and so we need to have segments. So first segment, I told you data segment. That is here, data segment. But I, I wrote here data. That means the name of the segment. Segment is a keyword, but this data is uh, what you suggest. Maybe I said data, or maybe I say underscore data. Maybe I say something else. This name will be the name of my segment. Okay? But to tell compiler that this segment is a data segment that we do in here. Okay? So here we compiler doesn't, uh, I'm not sorry, compiler, but assembler. Assembler will not understand that this is the data segment. Okay? But uh, first of all, I'm saying the data here, uh, it's actually for me. Um, that I want to put data part here and when you data segment you have to end it also so end not only end it is end s and s means end segment so if you start the segment here you'll end segment here look at another segment here okay but this is a code segment and in the data segment what I'm putting in is a message msg again whatever I can write here, I cannot anything, this is your choice, but db, I'm writing here db, this is a data byte, that is I'm defining data byte, that means I'm putting these letters j, u, and y as one one byte long, I could make it some four bytes long, some ten bytes long, so then you have to use a different data type, which you see actually from the book, when you say db for data byte, which will take exactly one byte, Mm, you could use uh, 10 bytes, you could use quad bytes, or word sizes, or whatever you want. Uh, that you will see actually from the book. I don't have so much of time to tell you here. But this 10 and 13, this is actually for the new line. This is the ASCII code for the carriage return and the line field. So they will actually do one nothing. If you don't are not understanding, just uh, remember as I that they will give you the next line, like in the C language backslash n. It's like that, and then this is the message which I want to print. Which I want to print that will be put in some double course, or you could say single course, no problem. Single course, or double course, whatever you want to do, put in here. And but end it with the dollar because dollar means end of the uh, string. So put in dollar here if it's the string. And this is the end segment. Then we have a code segment here. So code segment starts here and code segment ends here. Okay, code ends means and s and s. Okay, so now in a code segment, what I want to do is I want to put my code. But first thing is to say assembler that assembler this code actually that means this segment which is which I named code is actually code segment. So that is CS assembler knows CS. Okay, not this code. So you can put anything in here. The link with the CS, that means whatever you put in here, say for example you put in a Juni, and right here but Juni, Juni link it with the CS, that means assembler will understand that this code segment is nothing but a code segment, understand? I have named it code segment, a relevant name, you could do something different, not a problem. And similarly we got say data, this is a name what can put in here, I could have put in again uh, some other name, but you got to link it with the DS. Then this is start label. Start label is actually to say uh, assembler that you got to start from here. The actual code is from here. This initiation point. Then this is called as a boilerplate code because uh, I told you that uh, I, I have here the data segment address has to be put in a data segment register that is done by these statements. Look at here. Move data to the AX. Okay. Because why could I say move data to the DS? Because I have to put the data because uh, the address of this data segment into the data segment register, DS register. But why I'm putting it first in the AX? Because I cannot load directly the segment registers. If this is the memory offset, 
because this is in the memory here okay and this is the register I cannot put memory addresses directly to the registers so I have to use some general purpose register that's why I told you AX accumulator in the register video that this is the general purpose register so I put in here first AX then AX what is an AX this time the data address of the data that will be put in the DS that means this DS will be linked with the data segment this segment okay then what I what I got to do is I want to uh, I want to print this message journey and assembly okay so that is done by the interrupt this is a DOS interrupt call 21H this is the DOS interrupt call we actually do it there we call actually operating system a operating system do things for us and operating system has if you want to print message then that 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 uh, the DOS when you call the DOS interrupt you are actually calling DOS to do something but that will be seen from the what is an AH uh, assembler will see at that time what is an AH register AH you know AX and AX is the register 16 bit it's high end AH and low end AL in a high end AH it will be seen what is in it it is 09H so this is the function 09 is a function actually then this function will be given to the uh, DOS then DOS will come up what that will come up uh, with what is in the DX you will see what is in the DX the D in the DX this time is the offset of the message that is this message MSG it's offset that means its address so what DOS will do is it will see what is in a uh, message that is journey and assembly up to the dollar sign it will print it all on the I mean say monitor but you don't have to write you you, you 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 are not writing any code to print the things on the monitor that's actually written into the interrupt service routines that's a different uh, lecture I don't want to mess up here with that but you understand it simply that if you put in an interrupt 21h call it actually calling the DOS to do the things and the, but you have DOS can do many things so we name them uh, the jobs which a DOS do this is the zero manage function which means to print something uh, what is in the DX the address in the DX print that string up the dollar sign onto the monitor I'm running out of time so I will be hurry up here this is the last thing again calling 21H okay uh, this is a DOS interrupt call again but this time loading for CH in the AH okay mm, you could say this is putting 00 in AL there's nothing in AL we could simply use this thing only or we could use put move AX 4C00H or like that so that will load 00 into AL 4C into AH this actually means nothing but to say goodbye that means leave, uh, give control back to the uh, operating system that's DOS in fact here and this is the code ends and but the last statement which should be your program uh, program should be having is the end start that means the end of this start label so in fact, there are codes even here, but that ends first, but start label ends at the last because start is the initiation. So we got to end with the end start. So I hope you got it. So it's time to say goodbye. So ma salama.